I'm just right solving the worksheet that's shared with you right now. So the purpose of solving all this for you is just so that it will be uh, helpful for you during the exam. So you need to know how the questions will be asked, all those. So for that purpose, I'm just providing sample uh, worksheet uh, grammar exercises. Yes. So, uh, it's, so it's not that you'll be getting the same type of all the exercises. Since it's going to be open book, the questions may be twisted here and there. Uh, so if you're thorough with the concept, the content, then I think you can easily answer to any type of question asked. So let me just uh, show you a few more uh, grammar exercises in the same worksheet. So before that, uh, we started off this worksheet by uh, the, the exercise like mete o negati, which meant like we had to change it to negative sentences. So we just had to identify the negative uh, I mean the verbs and I insert the bar before and after the verb. So this we did the previous class. And then we saw about an exercise called Reponde Vakisio, where you got to answer with yes or no. And they shouldn't stop with yes or no, you got to complete the sentence. You got to give one complete sentence as an answer. Yes. So well, when I was saying like uh, it may be as any way, the questions may be slightly twisted in that. Uh, for example, let me show that. So here it's a Reponde Vakisio. The same, the same content can be asked like uh, in the case you. So you can see this is another type of exercise uh, which uh, deals with the same format for doing the sentences. Uh, like we put one here for example. This is the sentence given. You are asked to frame a question. We should a university the VIT. You are given such a sentence. You got to frame a question for this. Please find find the sentences. Yes. So how do you frame the question? So since it's a yes or no question, you've learned only about a yes or no questions. So S, the answer begins with S, I study. So the question would be obviously, uh, do you study? So in that case, you know, the I study, you've got to change it to you study. Fine. The answer would be like, uh, it's uh, same. The, this question would be the answer here. So, in the statement, if it's I study, in the question, you're going to change it to ATD, who's ATD. Or you can frame the other type of uh, question. So I can uh, frame the question either way, either with the inverse form or the ESCO, using the ESCO form of interrogation. Is it clear? So this is how, this is what I mean when I say the questions may be tested, right? So yesterday we saw about the questions, we tried answering, now I'm giving the answers, you've got to frame the question, fine. So if you have any doubt, please stop me. And, uh, and another exercise where we had to fill up the blank with the correct form of verb, the conjugated form of verb, this we did the previous class. And the same content as in the other way, where the verbs are already given, you got to find the pronoun sushi. So what are pronoun sushi? Can anybody answer what are the pronoun sushi? Ramja Tu L Tu right L No good Vu Vu L Yes D the plural right good so it's, these are the pronouns you should. So you've got to fill up the blank with the pronouns you should. So for that you need to know again about the verbs. 
So obviously the verb is the first word after the filler. So ONT. So you should know what is this ONT. You need to recognize the word ONT. You will have to fix it with the infinitive. You need to identify the infinitive. This is the infinitive form of ONT. Infinitive form of the verb. A word. Okay, so this is the infinitive form. So if you know this, then you can see the conjugation and you can try to fix the subject. So which for ONT will correspond to which form of, uh, to which subject. So we have to look at the conjugation of avar and see ONT goes with which subject. So this will be easily done if you have your notes organized well with all the conjugations, the list of words, the list of prepositions, uh, the exceptions to the rules of identifying feminine gender. So we've been having almost some 10 classes so far. If you have all the notes organized, we, then it's easy to just do time, which is 50 minutes. So don't waste your time uh, looking for notes here and there in the last minute. So make sure you have your notes, everything well organized. Fine. So here is the answer for the first sentence. I-L-S or E-L-L-E-S. E or L plural. And then the next sentence. The verb is E-T-E-S. So again, you need to know it belongs to L. So you need not to do it in the exam, like identifying the verb and all. It's just for your understanding, I am putting within brackets the verbs, okay? So this particular sentence is sad. So you have to refer to the conjugation, the infinitive form of sad, this atr. You have to check the conjugation of atr. For atr, what would be the name? For zat, what would be the subject? Can one of you tell? I've given the hint. Yes, no US. That's it. So the same way you got to identify the verb and its infinitive form, then it's going to be easy. Next one would be yeah. so there was the infinitive form and so there were is conjugated like it was in for these two subjects. So either of the answer is right. So here I'm giving both the possibilities. In the exam, you just write one answer, that's more than enough. Got it. So here the last sentence is from the verb war and uh, in or L is the corresponding subject. So you can see how the, so the same so exercise asks in a different way. Fine. Uh, any doubt here? Okay, so for such type of exercises where you got to fill in the blanks, I want you to write the complete sentence. Write the complete sentence for the for these type of exercise. Don't just write one word like e, do, e, 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 or only the verb. I just want you to write out the complete sentence. So this would be the answer for such type of for exercise. You got to write the sentence in zone the fair or L zone the fair. Fine. Slide is not short for other type of exercise, like the here, for example, where you got to convert the sentence to plural, for this you need not write the answer question, you just write the answer. So what do you understand from this? Mete tu tla phrase or kl. Mete, you know it's put. Phrase is phrase, sentence, and plural. So put sentence plural. So you're going to put the sentence in the plural form. When I say the sentence, it's tu tla phrase. 
entire yeah. sentence so in the sentence yeah. wherever possible you make the word plural so you can see yeah. le journaliste the journalist so what is the plural journalist okay so you can see the nouns in english how do you change the word journalist to plural the nouns to plural we add s okay right so you do the same you add s it's converted to plural so the noun is plural so the article will also be plural so the noun will change to be journalist will take s and what about the verb the verb is used in the singular form and to recall the verb is also the verb atre so its corresponding plural form is s o n t so the journalist is becomes the journalist uh, means it has to be uh, the next word is don don you should know it's a preposition so prepositions are uh, invariables you can't make it masculine feminine singular plural and all they are just uh, the same words right and the next word also will be put in plural is the concept clear oh, no. okay, so, is, uh, so you see the journalist is in the shop has changed to the journalists are in the shops the same thing here so and the plural of and is even is responding verb spelling changes to ent and it changes to des and pu and ps so ul is indefinite article we learned its plural is des and then apple becomes apples so she eats an apple changes to they eat some apples the next sentence is the interrogative uh, form so you are not going to put, you can't put interrogative or negative and all the so that is that you have to retain make it clear so tu the plural of tu is so and the verb also changes according to the subject and the name so when it comes to the subject remember the plural of usher is no these are the eight uh, subjects that you have learned eight pronouns uh, when you are conjugating the words and the first four are the singular and next four are plural of the uh, first four right so this is what i am applying here so for you the plural is and we have so it you changes to so so it happens in all the sentences so all becomes uh, so no what is the basic So the next one will be and if you know about all the other so you learn to have a exercise clear any doubt So the last okay. sentence is like I don't know becomes we don't know. So in this case, you need to know to say belongs to one subword and its plural form in the no form is subword. So you can say repeatedly in all the exercises the verbs play a very main major role in all the exercises. So if you are not thorough with the word concept, then you can't make. the sentence perfect the parameter ratio and so each commander has its own aspect ratio that are the points clear anything else from your side 
as I get the doubt, you can ask. So, mental aspect issues and the spirit type by the other is very much important because I think we need complete detail of the spirit type by the other on four different structures we can as we should be used. Okay, for CAT, the portions will be, I'll just have a look at the course page. I've uploaded on, uh, can each date I've uploaded a topic and uh, it's the respective notes. So those are the topics for your CAT 1, okay, portions for your CAT 1. When it comes to pattern, you'll be asked three questions, uh, each carrying 10 months. So one question may be like midday to class of year. So under the under this particular topic, you may have 10 sentences. So 10 months. You may get a question like fill up the blank with a pronounced sushi. So such a case, you'll be getting 10 sentences. So likewise, you'll be getting three different type of uh, exercises. Uh, not exactly from this particular worksheet. It can be we are different. So you need to know the content as well. Said. You may get fill in the blanks with the prepositions, fill in the blanks with the contrast. I mean, exactly the contrast. Uh, what else you have not? Fill in the blanks with the definite articles, indefinite articles, or any type of exercise from here. And you may get uh, sometimes that's uh, it. I think I explained everything. So, when you see a new topic, you come across any thing which open book, obviously, uh, questions may not be seen. So, um, once you see something new apart from this worksheet, you just read the questions again and again understand what you are trying to tell you and then apply it. I said you will have enough time. It's only three questions. Even if you take 15 minutes for each question, you can complete it on time. Provided you have all your notes, you are organized. Better you write down everything so that a writing French will be uh, the first time when you are writing the exam. You should have written some French before the exam. So make sure that you write down everything in your book. Mm -hmm. okay, anything else? Ma yes, ma. Ma, we need to write only the answer or the full sentence. Uh, the full sentence for fill ups. For fill ups, if you have got any fill in the blank type questions like this, fill in the blanks with verbs or subject or article, you write the full sentence. For exercise like like answer to the question, uh, here you need not copy the question. You just write the answer. And ma'am, this syllabus will be the all the things that you have uploaded till now on the VTOP. Yeah, right? yes, yes. Whatever is uploaded till today. Uh -huh. And uh, in the course page, uh, yeah, everything is there, I think. Okay. We have a topic called accents. I think uh, you won't be getting any questions on accents at all. But you just to go through the accents and I think you remember the importance of accents in a word. So when you're writing the words, uh, uh, please don't miss the accents. Use the uh, apostrophes cautiously. It's used only for five words. Don't use apostrophes wherever you feel like. Anything else? No, no. Okay. So um, uh, will we be having uh, any quiz after CAT 1 week? Yeah, yeah, yes, of course, you will have a quiz. So after CAT, uh, we will have a class, right? Uh, in that class, we will discuss about the quiz one day. Okay, ma'am. But uh, please do remind me, okay?
I should have conducted it now itself before CAT. But uh, we didn't have much time to complete this. We won't have anything like translating sentences from French to English or English to French. Since it's the first time that you're preparing for exam, you will not be having any translations. So now we are just trying to apply the rules that we have learned in simple exercises, that's all. So translations will be asked in the canto or fact. So you will not worry if you don't know the meaning of all the words by heart. Yes, ma ma on that. the on the giving you respond, ma'am, our answer may be ma different from person to person, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, your choice. You can change it. There's nothing to the math, nothing like fixed answers. The purpose is uh, the sentence structure should be right, that's all. So I'm not uh, expecting any true answers also. Whether you have brothers or sisters, that doesn't matter, for example, this particular sentence. I just want to see if you are able to frame the sentence correctly. So there are various answers possible. Um, along the oxygen consumed, it is Any other queries? So, hope uh, the content has been delivered clearly in all the classes. So, if you have any further doubts, or uh, if you want to, if you want me to check any particular exercise that you have solved it on your own, you can mail me or just WhatsApp me the photo, I can I'll check it and send it back. Fine, because I've uploaded the worksheets and the answers are also there. But still, apart from that, if you want some other clarification, you can mail me. I'll respond. For the given set of reactions. Okay. So in that case, all the important points for you to note down in the calculator and for you to then uh, okay, all the best. Meet so you all after the exams. Uh, do your exams well. Don't panic. Okay. It will be simple. We have been doing many uh, two two classes of revision stuff, so I think we will be doing it confidently. Don't worry. Okay. All the best. So uh, downloading the attendance now. Um, so in the part of the PDF slide which I have uploaded is about just the two elemental balances and the of production. Sure, you should expect a problem with respect to the of productions. The molecules could be given and asked you to find.